thanks everybody for coming this morning. And uh, welcome to the viewers that are watching us live on Facebook. Uh, just a little bit of a format before we get started. Uh, first, we'll get col comments from Ali, followed by Jesse, then Omer, and then Danny. Uh, after that, we'll have a Q&A portion, following words. If we need any one-on-ones, we can take those as well. With that, I'll open up the questions. Or I'm sorry, we'll open up with a quick statement from Ali. Thanks, Jason. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank all of you for, uh, for being here. Um, also, thank everyone for watching. Um, today's a great day. Um, we have the uh, ability to add two very exciting players, um, two very good individuals off the field as well. Um, you know, this season's been a, an interesting season, you know, and um, when you look at the off season, we always value that there's a correlation between consistency and success. And so one of the philosophies and one of the approaches that we took going into this season is how can we keep this very, very talented group of players together uh, in order so for us to achieve our goals this year and to have success. And uh, that's what we did. And we were able to uh, keep the group together and to continue along. And you know we had a difficult start to the season, but we re rebounded. And um, we feel we, ha we have a very strong team. Uh, we feel we're in a very good place. Um, but we always have our eyes out for opportunities in the market where we can improve the group. And uh, these two players that we're being able, that we're adding, uh, we feel are going to help us. We feel that they can help us this year and they can help us, uh, you know, moving forward. So that's very exciting. Um, we're all very happy and looking forward to these guys getting on the field training as well as uh, playing games. So uh, today's a great day for the club. Uh, it's, it's a great day for these young men. Um, and we look forward to our next game against Montreal uh, this, this weekend coming up. Thanks, Ali. Jesse? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, f from my perspective, um, with Omar and Danny, we, we're getting two players who we know are very talented, who fit the way we play, who I think will uh, fit into the mentality of who we are as a group. And so uh, we're, we're really excited about uh, both of them being here. They've trained once with the first team. Uh, and I thought they looked seamless within the group. They they fit in. They were combining with with guys like Bradley and Sasha, and and already it seemed like those guys had known each other for years. So uh, we're all really excited about the possibilities. We we want to get them fit, get them going, get them integrated in the team as quickly as possible. Um, and and we're excited. Uh, you know, from my perspective. You know, now we've got a real good group with these two additions, a real good group of players to move forward and, and really make a run at this. So really excited. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, Omar. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, I'm really excited to be here and to join to the big club, uh, Red Bull New York. Um, I, can't, I can't wait to be on, uh, again on the pitch. And to be with the team, to be part of the team, and to succeed. Thank you. Thank you. And Danny? Hello, everybody. From my side as well, thank you very much for coming. Um, like I said a few days ago, I'm really happy to be here now. It took a while, but uh, that's how it is in, in this business. And yeah, I'm looking forward to be able to play, to be allowed to play, and um, to be on a pitch. That's it. Great. Thanks, guys. If you could just raise your hand, we'll get the microphone to you. We'll start on the far left uh, with Christian. Ali, this question's for you. Can you just kind of take us through the, the genesis here of the two signings, when they kind of came to your attention, and in particular, Omer, with, with the synergy with Red Bull and just kind of how that worked out, how they came to your attention with the signing? So the first time that we had a chance to see Omer was um, when Jesse and I were in Qatar uh, in January of last year. And that was um, uh, during preseason for Leipzig. And Jesse and I, we observed the training sessions for both Salzburg and Leipzig. And um, that was right when Omer had signed with the club. And we had a chance to see him train. Uh, and so that's, that was the first time that we were kind of introduced to him. You know, we, uh, we stay on top of um, a lot of the other clubs that were associated, that we're in the same family with. Um, we watch their games. Uh, occasionally, we're over in Europe, and uh, we watch them uh, live. Uh, and so we've had a chance to really follow Omer and his career and, and the various clubs 
um, uh, you know, for some time now. Uh, and then with all the different technology in terms of scouting technology, you really get a feel for the player. Um, but having him being part of the, uh, the family, so to speak, really helps us, helped us to determine that he would be a good fit from an off the field perspective. Uh, with Daniel, uh, you know, the, the, the identification process was more recent. Uh, he was a guy that came on our radar um, while it was before the window. Um, uh, we didn't know him nearly as long as we, as we knew Omer. Um, with that being said, you know, when you look at, um, we looked at all the video, we talked to a number of people that could um, attest to his character as a young man, um, we felt he'd be a, a great fit. Um, when, you, when, when you see the way he trains and the way he plays, he fits into our style of play. Um, so it's going to be our job to really get these guys going um, uh, and, and let them learn all the nuances of the different tactics for them to add value as quick as possible. Um, with Omer, you know, he comes from a, a club that plays very similar to the way we play. So we think tactically we felt, you know, for a guy that you bring in on loan, um, there's a lot of value there, you know, because you're not having to go through the traditional process of education of how you play with uh, with with Omer relative to a, a player outside of the family. So, um, yeah, uh, all things very exciting. We'll go uh, to the left with Fuchs. Jesse, specifically, what what do you think they both bring positive to the table, and how difficult is it to integrate two talented players at this point in the year? Um. In, in terms of integrating two talented players, it's exciting. Uh, you know, we have a lot of good attacking options, but you know, we we also felt that given uh, the schedule and and where we were and and what we have coming up, that adding two quality players is only going to make us better. So uh, now, individually, Omer is a is like a second striker. He can play. You know, he can play up high as a as a, a lone striker, but he's best when he plays underneath. So. We think the possibility of the relationship between him and Bradley can be really good. He's a really smart soccer player. He's very intelligent and smooth with how he moves around. He sees the game really quickly. He's able to set up plays uh, really well, and, and he's good around the goal. He's a good goal scorer. Uh, so, you know, um, it, they actually both played with the USL team on Sunday against the U-20s. And you know, in that game, I don't think Omer lost a ball, and he helped put together a bunch of really good attacking plays. So, uh, you know, he's he's going to fit into the group really well, as Ali said, uh, because of his intelligence, but also because he's very aware of uh, a lot of our tactics and style of play. Going to Danny, <coughs> Danny, you know, uh, is very mobile, is very aggressive, is good on the move, likes to likes to combine, likes to run. Uh, is another smart soccer player, good passer, good around the goal. So, uh, you know, when you start to add up all those qualities, you can see how that, from a wide wide perspective, can fit into the way we play. Uh, you know, we're just trying to get him up the speed a little bit with, with what we expect out of that position, but he can play from the left and he can play from the right. He can, uh, on both sides, is very effective. So, uh, you know, I think, again, in terms of of the soccer side of things, we have two guys that will fit in, I think, pretty seamlessly. And then, you know, what I've tried to encourage and challenge them to do is understand who we are as a team, who I am as a coach, who, what, we, what kind of mentality we've built as a group, and, and how they can interject themselves and, and, and fit in. And, and I think that, you know, they, they each have different kinds of personalities, but they're both excited to be here. And, and because of that, I think you'll see a, a lot of energy from them every day and, and a lot of excitement. And, and ultimately, I think then they'll throw themselves into the team in a really good way. And I know that the team's really excited to have them here and, and to integrate them. So uh, that, that's always one of the biggest challenges. But I think we have two really good young men who are really excited to be here, which will make all that easier. Next, we'll go straight back to Eric. Jesse, you, you mentioned that Omer's best position would probably be as a second striker. Does that mean we could see maybe a change in formation with a, a two forward setup? I know you've had a lot of success with Sasha playing underneath Brad, but any changes coming on that front? Yeah, there's, that's that's a distinct possibility. Like I said, we can we can play with Omer as a lone striker at times, but I think playing with two is a, is a big possibility with him as well. Uh, we've done that, uh, you know, throughout the season. Obviously, in the last year and a half, we've integrated the three more than the two. But we've worked on the two, and I think there's clarity within the team of how to play that way. And ultimately, it'll be about trying to get the best out of all of our players and <clears throat> figuring out ways to, to put guys on the field to succeed. We'll go next to Phil. Uh, oh, for Omer, 
you're only, I think, the fourth Israeli player to come to MLS, and it's been five years since there was an Israeli player. Is MLS on the radar over there? What, what is your thoughts about this league coming over, from over there? Uh, actually, I, don't, I didn't know a lot about it, this league before I came. And I know that a lot of good players coming come to play here. And this is a good opportunity for me to play here. And um, I want to score a goal again and to be you know, a big name in uh, USA. Is there a stu do you know, have a sense of the style of play here at all? Is it different that you, from what you've seen at all, or you haven't seen enough? Yeah, um, I saw a few games uh, in the last uh, two weeks. I saw a very, very fast game and high tempo, and this this thing that I have to, to learn and to to work out to be yeah. And, and just quickly, Jesse, what is the timetable here in your mind in terms of, of working these guys in? Uh, no time like the present. Uh, so, you know, uh, I think Danny's ahead of Omer and from a fitness perspective, uh, but uh, Omer's ahead of Danny from a visa perspective. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but we're going to, you know, we've, we've got even a week coming up where we've got three games in, in nine days. So, you know, I think that there's a good chance that now we start integrating them rather quickly. Um, this weekend, it'll be up a little bit more to Dennis Hamlet to take, take those reins. Uh, but for sure, you know, we want to, it was great having them in training already. It was great having them in the USL game against the twenties and, and, and I think that you know we want to we want to really accelerate the the learning curve and the and the integration process. What's the visa thing? Well, <clears throat> Danny has to go back to Austria, um, and Omer has already taken the majority of the steps to get the visa, so he can he'll. There's more likelihood that that Omer is available for the weekend than Danny at this point. We always got we we just gotta work with. Uh, with our outside counsel just to see how that whole work visa uh, process goes. So timetable is TBD at this moment, but hopefully we get some good news soon. We'll go next to Dave. Uh, Jesse, with two new players coming on board, you always take a slow approach to integrating your players, but with injuries and everything else, it's going to have to speed up the process a bit. So how do you as a coach handle that situation? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I usually find that those those questions figure themselves out. Like, you know, I mean, it's always up to me to try to give every player the opportunity to succeed. But I think when you start to put a team in, a player into training and he shows what he's about, that typically uh, that timetable and that learning curve kind of takes its own path. Uh, so, you know, I mean, I think both these guys are going to be Im important. And, you know, we certainly want to give them every opportunity to get into things as quickly as possible. But we also need to do it in a way to set them up to succeed and set the team up to succeed. So th that'll be, that'll be uh, the main challenge on my end. Uh, and, you know, right now I think that a lot of guys are doing well. You know, I, th I do think, you know, hopefully Bradley he is going to be okay um, coming out of uh, uh, Sunday. But you know, we know that Mike's done well. Alex has been great within the team. Gonzalo's really gotten himself going. So all of a sudden now, we have a lot of really good options. So that's a good thing for us. That's a really good thing for us. And uh, just for Omer, uh, could you talk us through what the transfer the loan process was for you? Because uh, it, there seemed to be conflicting reports as to whether or not you would stay uh, in Europe or come here. Yeah, um, I signed here for four months. And try to do the best in these four months and to show my quality and then we'll see what what happened. I should come I should, should go back to Leipzig after from four months, but I will I will want to stay here and we will see. Right now Omar has uh, he has a uh, you know we have a loan agreement um, with the club and it's until the end of the end of the season. And so um, hopefully, we're going to do everything we can to uh, give Omar an opportunity to succeed and to do really well, and for him and his family to get acclimated to the environment and the New York metropolitan area. Um, and we'll see. Who knows what will happen at the end of the year? But right now, we're focused one day at a time. Let's you know they they need to to get acclimated, get 
you have to get through the work visa process, get to know their teammates one step at a time, and then we'll take care of next season at the end of this season. We'll go front left to Franco. Ali, kind of going off of that, uh, not, it's not common that we see designated players come on loan. What went into the decision to bring him on loan as, a, as opposed to a permanent transfer? And uh, you spoke about getting him acclimated. And we know the, the adjustment period usually takes a little bit for, for most guys coming from abroad. Uh, is, it, is that too much of a challenge to expect them to, to make a big, big impact, to make him move permanent uh, for more than three months, four months? So one of the things that we looked at was, you know, okay, if we need to, if we want to add players for, uh, to our group for this year and next year, what are some of the key components? Um, yes, a lot of times there are, um, it takes time to get acclimated to the league, the style of play, everything else, you know, uh, living a situation, um, getting to and from training. Um, but with Omer, he is part of um, our family of clubs. And it was an opportunity where he understood uh, the way in which we want to play. So, you know, from that standpoint, um, there's really not too much of an adjustment. Um, and then having uh, a lot of comfort in terms of who he is as a, as a person and really being able to talk to our counterparts over in Europe in terms of what he's like and those types of things, um, we felt that he, he really would fit in um, very well uh, with our group. Now, with that being said, there's, there's a, um, there's usually an adjustment period with anything, whether it's coming and playing soccer or whether you're coming to going to a different country to be a lawyer, doctor, salesperson, wherever the case may be. Um, but with Omer, we think that the transition will be quick. Um, again, like Jesse said, we need to get him fit. Um, but hopefully, we think he could add value for us this year for sure. Um, and we're excited about that. We'll go next to left to Christian, <coughs> followed by the other Christian. Uh, first off, for Ali, how you doing? Um, just as a little bit more on the loan agreement, how does Omer be a designated player? How, do, how and why does he count as that? And for Jesse and Omer, how does being within the Red Bull family help ease the transition, and you know, the familiar style of play that the teams have? How does that ease any possible transition? So traditionally, um, what, and traditionally, the way in which a player is qualified as a designated player, it's all based on compensation. Now, um, and that compensation is determined by MLS and the league office. Now, the club that Omer was coming from, um, it's some slightly a, a, a more difficult or a, a different process. Uh, and in that, it's really having uh, a number of conversations with the league office in terms of what the valuation is on Omer and his compensation. Uh, and they take a lot of things into consideration with regard to past performance, uh, uh, compensation uh, uh, from his former club, um, a lot of those different data points. And then they make a determination on, is this player a designated player? Is the player a TAM player? Or is he a, a just you know, a senior roster player. So we had a lot of those, I had a lot of those conversations with the league office in terms of determining their budget impact as well as their, their player category. Uh, and the league office ultimately made the decision that um, he had to qualify as a designated player. So with that, you know, Omer's our third designated player, which means we have to pay a third designated player charge. Um, so that carries, we have to pay $150,000 cash. Um, we felt um, that was the right decision. Um, but all those things, all those different characteristics play into the decision. I'll let Omer ask the question. Do you remember the question? Thanks. Christian, if you could, could you re repeat the question for us? Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll, yeah. just, it's just for uh, It's just about how being within Lake League, Salzburg, how that helped you make the transition to New York and how the similar way the team yeah. plays. Yeah, I think uh, when you play in Red Bull, you, you have to learn the system. And, uh, how to play, and you have to, to press all the time, and uh, always to, pre to press high, and uh, yeah. When I, yeah, like I said, when you play in Red Bull, you have to know the, the system, and you learn every day what to do, and to show it in the game. Yeah, I mean, for me, I you know, when we looked at him playing, and, and his, so much for me of, of adapting to not just our league but our team is the intelligence level and mentality of players uh, because it's not easy and they're big demands. But when you, when you watch Omar play, and you guys will see, the first thing that you'll see is his intelligence, right? His, his 
understanding of the system and his under understanding of how to play with the guys around him, how to make guys better, and how to make plays around the goal. So that, that part is exciting. It'll be fun. And I think Danny shares a lot of those same characteristics. Even though he hasn't played in the Red Bull system, I think his, his approach to the way he plays and the way he thinks is, is the same as, as what we are. So in that sense, we're excited. We'll go back left to Christian. I was going to ask Danny actually about that. He seemed lonely over there, so I wanted to ask him a question. Um, just what do you know about the style of play here, the pressing system, and what do you know about the player you're in many ways replacing in Lloyd Sam, who was very popular and successful here for several seasons with Red Bull? Yeah, first of all, uh, I know the Red Bull system because I played a lot of games against Red Bull Salzburg when I played in, in Austria. And it's like uh, Oma and Jesse said, it's uh, in the whole Red Bull family in Salzburg, Leipzig, and New York, I think they try to follow the same philosophy and the same style of soccer. So I knew what I can expect when I come here. And um, of course, I've seen a lot of games. But when I came here in the first trainings, um, I had to notice that, of course, there are some things which I have to improve or things they, which are new for me and uh, different to what I learned in my former clubs. But it, you know, it's nothing that you can't learn. So um, I'm just looking forward to the next trainings and to the next weeks to get used to it and to become a real part of the team. So of course, it's rebel is uh, power soccer. It's it's pressing. It's uh, a lot of running. It's it's action. And um, yeah, the the other question uh, is um, yeah quite difficult to answer for me. It's I'm not the guy who wants to compare uh, with another player. I didn't know him that much, to be honest. I followed uh, a lot of games, so I've seen some games. But yeah, it's I think it's not, uh, it's not up to me to, to evaluate his style of play. Um, I just want to do my best. And um, I think there is a reason why the guys over there wanted me to, to come here. We'll next go to Fuchs. I just want to ask both players uh, your reaction to playing in the biggest city in the world and also playing in Red Bull Arena, if you can give us a comment. Danny, if you could go first. Yeah, that we're in, in, in New York or New Jersey, how are you going to take it? Of course, that's a, a really nice side effect, I would say. Um, especially for us, we're, we're from far away. Uh, we're from, yeah, I'm from Europe, uh, from Austria. so. Um, that's really special for me and also for all my friends and family because um, it, it's not common that somebody of us can say you, you had a part of your life in, in New York. And yeah, so of course I try to enjoy that as well, but the most important thing is on the pitch and that's what the focus is on. And about the Red Bull Arena, it's, it's, just, it's just amazing. Uh, I think it's, it's a very nice stadium if I compare it to all the others. There are some nice ones, but I think that one is really the best. And I can't wait to, to be in there and can't wait to have the games where a lot of supporters are coming. Yeah, yeah uh, actually, I know, I know this arena uh, because it's really similar to, to the stadium in Salzburg and in Leipzig. And it's really excited to, to, be, to be here and uh, I can't wait to be on the pitch. And yeah, that's all. Next, we'll go to Eric in the back, followed by Franco. Uh, Danny, in, in terms of your position on the wing, uh, this team already has a couple of players, like Mike Grella, who's a little bit more of a creative player, Alex Mule, who's a very industrious winger. What, what, what kind of player do you think you'll be uh, as a winger? What do you think you'll bring to that position? Yeah, I think uh, Chessie tried to explain in, in the right way. Um, I'm a player who tries to put in a lot of energy. Um, I try to do a lot of uh, runs important runs. Uh, yeah, I would describe myself as a, as a technical player. I said that a few days ago. Um, but I also said that I, I really don't like it to, to describe myself. Um, just one that everybody makes their own picture about me. But um, of course, I try to do that, what everybody asks for. So what the coaching staff and everybody is asking for. And that will be, like I said, a lot of runs, a lot of pressing, being dangerous, being uh, a real part of the team, fight together. 
So that's of course very important, but I also try to, to put on the my my other skills I have. And we'll wrap things up for today with Franco. Another one for Danny. Uh, I think you said in your initial comments uh, it took a while uh, for this deal to, to work out. Uh, when did you first hear about the interest from Red Bull, and uh, what was that process like to, to for it to finally get finalized and, and sign over here? I think uh, we came in touch uh, at the beginning of June, and yeah, that's where it started. That uh, where where we started talking and uh, thinking about it, and. Yeah, like I said, it took a while, but I think it's a good thing because sometimes if you rush, um, you cannot be 100% sure if it's the right decision. So it took now, yeah, almost two months uh, when we s uh, from the point on we started. But I think it was a good period. I had some time to think about. I had uh, some time to get a lot of inf information from different sides. And so I could make my picture about the club and I could talk to all the guys and that was very important for me. And so I had a good feeling when I made my decision. Excellent. Gentlemen, thank you. That'll wrap up today's news conference. Uh, each of the participants will be available for any one-on-ones following. Thanks again, guys.